Hi, Leo. So this is my second time recording this. My camera completely shut off and, you know, didn't let me know. So this is going to be your weekend reading. We're going to see if the same messages come out than last time. I'll let you know if they were the same. What is coming towards you in love and romance? Even if you're currently dating someone, even if you, you know, are in a situation... This could be still who's coming for you because if it's not who you're truly meant to be with, you know things always happen. So you could still watch if you are currently with someone. Even if you say, no, I'm going to be with this person for the rest of my life. Okay. If the universe wants that, if your spirit guides want that. All right. We're going to say what's coming towards you. For Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. The link to my Etsy shop is down below. And um, you can always head over there and see the variety of message, the variety of readings that I offer. Very inexpensive to provide guidance, clarity, answers. I don't like to charge a lot to do that because it's also been, you know, I've been where you are. Transformation wanted to pop out. All right. and Venus. Actually, this did come out. How ironic is that? So forgive. Sorry, guys. Forgive. Tranquility, peaceful mind, freedom from the past. Not forgive the person per se. Forgive what didn't happen. If this is somebody coming back, forget, you know, see what they're offering. Maybe forgive it. Maybe they just weren't in the right energy. Masculine, your divine masculine, your twin, your soulmate is seeking you. Amazing. They could live by a lake, by a mountain. I mean, look how beautiful this is. They could have a little, little boat like that. Inner child, playful, happy, enjoy the present moment, live to the fullest. This coming together, this person that's coming into your life is going to make your inner child very happy. Okay, these are a new deck I got on Etsy. So I'm going to pull a few because there's so many of you. So it's not always gonna completely resonate. So it'll, you know, it'll include more. Rejected love. Look at that right under forgive. Can't buy me love. Grow old love. All right, let's see. I want the rose quartz right in the middle of my love reading. I love readings. This is going to be timeless. And for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe, like, or leave a message. Let me know how it resonates. I meditate before every reading and I can pull your energy in and bring more personal messages to you in future readings. All right, that's going to be your energy, the person in your energy, the mutual energy between the two of you, the current situation, and the overall outcome. And this also did come out the Six of Swords in your last energy, in your last reading that didn't work. So you are moving towards one another. You are. Moving out of troubled waters, Leo, and you're moving towards a more peaceful um, inner being. But you also could be a body of water away from this person, and you're traveling towards them. Six of coins. Earth energy. 
So you want that equal give and take. You want to know that, you know, this person, the person that's coming into your life is, you know, they, they're going to reciprocate what you put out in effort and in time and in love. That they're going to bring back towards you, that they're going to reciprocate it. Could be a Libra. He's holding um, the Libra sign in his hand. But looking for that balance, that fairness in a connection. Your person could have currently just went through an ending or has been feeling like scorned by the relationships that were in their life. Could be an air sign. Oh, look, Libra, air sign. But just went through things that ended in their life and it was very traumatic for them. Both of you looking for a brand new beginning, one that you can trust. One that is going to bring you a peace of mind, not cause you anxiety, not cause you stress. The current situation, the high priestess, very powerful, both of you. Knowing that if you both put the work in, in any connection with the right person, it is going to, it's like you doing the work for each and every connection you've had putting your best, most powerful self into it. Like I said, other people might not have known how to take your energy, might not have, might have been a little intimidated by you. But this person, this connection coming in, you both are going to go with your intuition on this. You're both going to feel that powerful connection. Seven of Cups. Having multiple offers and responsibilities and choices. But you see, the one cup, the two keys, the keys to each other's heart. It's like you're always gonna you're always gonna choose one another. It doesn't matter how many offers or how many choices you have going on in your life, you are gonna find yourself to one another. Clarity Spirit for Leo. The person showing up for the reading. Yep. Heartbreak. Forgiving the past. Forgiving. Forgiving what didn't work. Healing. Rising up above. And making the most, the, the most of your life. Having like that stable, solid foundation for yourself. Creating happiness for yourself. And like I said, like, look, there is definitely movement here. Traveling towards one another. Traveling away from the heartbreak, away from the pain. Healing your inner child. Learning from the lessons that these relationships, these failed relationships, these failed, these failed situations, learning from it, breaking the cycle. See what I mean? It's like you're breaking free from this energy. You've taken some time to heal. People who didn't want you to know their true selves with the Seven of Swords might have ghosted you, hurt your feelings, left you feeling out in the cold. It's like you've taken a break. You've meditated, you've prayed, you've healed, 
you still got the one sword in your arm. Like, you know, proceed with caution. Either have the right offer or don't. But get out of my energy if you don't. All right, thanks, Spirit. And there you are. Could be an air sign coming towards you. Like I said, it could be specifically a Libra or air in their chart. But there's the offer. There's the connection. I don't see anything coming back from the past, but this what could be what you need to forgive, the rejected love. Those people that, um, you know, actions speak louder than words. It could very well be, you know, that they just thought they would romance you and tell you what you wanted to hear, or buy you presents, but then their actions didn't follow up. And this person coming towards you could very well be the person you grow old with. The true connection. All right, Spirit, what else for my Leos? Okay, two came out. This is the card. When it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. With the high priestess and sacred union coming out, this person coming towards you is divinely guided. This could be a spiritual connection for some of you. But for others of you, it, it was meant to be on your path. Those that are going through a twin flame connection, your divine masculine is seeking you out or your divine feminine, masculine or feminine. But this connection is going to make your heart very happy, your inner child very happy. Always take what resonates. And like I said, always head over to your rising moon and Venus sign readings also. This is timeless for whenever it seems like it's resonating with you. And for those of you who need additional clarity and guidance, head over to my Etsy shop for a personal reading. All right. Love and light. Stay safe.